All right, what's up, you guys? We're doing some uh, some deck building today. Um, the main question here, the main question to ask, the main theme of this video is: is is this Brian Giant any good, or is it just Terra bad? It can potentially be a five six for one mana, which is insane. But in my play testing, this has been complete garbage. So I'm gonna revise this deck, make some tweaks, and see if I can like get this deck to be somewhat viable because. Uh, you know, a 5-6 for one mana sounds pretty pretty nice. So what does this deck uh, got to do? Like, uh, obviously he's blue. I thought about adding white, because white has like a bunch of removal and stuff. And that are enchantments, like Prison Realm, and I guess Home of the Sun, and uh, Legendary Cree uh, enchantments. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is any good. Enchantment. I thought about making this a control deck with a one drop 5-6 that kills you. It's easy to save mana that way. Uh, a lot of this mention of enchantments is not actually enchantments, it's stuff that like destroys enchantments. Uh, Outseed, of course, is great because these are enchantment. But, like, what else? I could put something in, like, I could put a bunch of uh, deafening silences. What's the point of that, though, honestly? I could put a bunch of stuff that locks down an opponent's creature. What just happened? Did I just reset this? So, if I press this button, it resets all my sorts. What? Shut. What? That's the worst sit come on. So, the requirement of this deck, the main requirement, like the only requirement, and this is a self-imposed requirement because we're talking about this stupid Brian Giant, is that there has to be four in the deck. So what else goes in the deck? I've tried a lot of stuff. This is like iteration number six of this deck or something, and all of them have been terrible. I've just been losing rank. I don't know how to make it good. This guy seems pretty good. He's a late game big troll. All the glitter seems pretty good if you're playing a ton of enchantments, right? Angelic Gift seems alright, but I don't think it's very good because you need a creature to put it on and otherwise it's completely dead. Alcide seems pretty good because it can protect things, but otherwise he's kind of a dead card. <sighs> Sentinel's Eyes. Hiffy. Uh, I think we'll keep one. All the glitters. Uh, I don't know. Birth of Miletus. I don't know. Ominous Seas seems pretty good. Starlit Mantle to protect your creatures. Some more staggering insights to draw cards. Vanishing lights. You know, let's just let's just go like insane removal. Four ominous seas, four birth malaise, and just banishing light. Um, prison realm, I guess. Do I have any more Heliots? No, I don't. Let's search for okay, is this still sorted to enchantments? Yes, enchantments. No, let's just search God. What, what do we have here? Thassa? Thassa's an enchantment. But she does, does she, is it worth flickering anything? I don't know. It could be. Let's put some, let's put a, one Thassa in here for testing. Um, I feel like I really need counters. Because people are just going to like blow up all my stuff. I could go this Kiora best the sea god. But by that point, you know, it's, it's seven mana. It's really expensive. So let's see. You know what? You know what actually would be pretty good? Four ominous seas. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Let's go to some shark typhoons. Screw it. Let's go four of them. We can cycle them and get creatures. How many lands do we have in the deck? Twenty? No, that's not enough. Not for this. Let's get rid of some staggering insights. Let's get rid of some all the glitters. So we're gonna kind of test these. See what it feels like when we draw these, if they're useful at all. That sort of thing. I had black in the deck at one point. Apparently, it thinks I still do, but I don't. So maybe there's someone that's sideboard. Yeah, Ashiok. Okay. Yeah, he's a fine sideboard card. Elspeth conquers, which of course is amazing. This guy for people that have a bunch of planeswalkers. Don't know why I would ever need this, but I have it in the sideboard. All right. Yeah, sideboard, I guess, is fine enough. I only have one Ashiok, whatever, I'll craft one, that's fine. Sure. Yeah, I don't care. It's a, it's a freaking uncommon. I've got, like, unlimited uncommons. So, let's see. Uh, maybe we put some Elspeth's main deck. Maybe we put some board resets main deck. I don't know. I think board resets are definitely a must-have. But basically, I mean, if we're going to play this this Bar Brian Dryan, we're going to have six enchantments on the board. Now, what I was thinking uh, is Leyline of Anticipation could be pretty good. Maybe we'll, like, put one in the sideboard 
and maybe we'll play one, uh, what is this thing called? Pay of Wishes. To grab stuff from the sideboard potentially at will. Sort of random. But might come in handy. Because let's see, what do we got? We got a lot of different stuff. A lot of different things. Uh, okay. Well, we're running a lot of Banishing Lights, a lot of Prison Realms, but really, I guess we just should be running Elspeth. I don't know, this is a hard deck to like, consider. I think maybe that's too many Elf Seeds. Sentinel's Eyes is kind of whatever. Vigilance is nice, but maybe it's too many of these guys. I feel like all that glitters is kind of not for this deck. The Birth could be pretty good. We're going to ramp lands and we'll have an enchantment in play so that could be a fast big guy uh let's see we, let's do a shatter the sky or a couple of them even maybe just like one or two in the sideboard get rid of a negate and put one in the sideboard and we could also do that other reset destroy all creatures i can't remember what it's called time wipe yeah oh we could also do realm cloak giant he's pretty good and Brian Giant is a giant, so that wouldn't kill him, which is something to think about. Maybe we'll do one of him instead. Two Shadow of Skies. So we're over four cards. Let's just get rid of some obvious garbage. Sentinel's Eyes can go. Moment of the Sun can go. Heliod's kind of useless, honestly, but... Staggering Insight could probably go. We don't have any card draw, really, though. That's sort of a problem. The only thing we really have to flicker is... Uh, I don't know. What do we have to flicker that would actually be good? Nothing. Nothing. We don't have anything. So, I guess I guess one of the obvious things is Scry... Uh, what is it? This... Omen of the Sea could be really good here. Yeah, let's do some Omens. And we'll do some, yeah, we'll just do, we'll just do a bunch of these omens, because flickering them would be good. We'll put two Thasses, maybe drop a prison realm, and one of those other things. We have 68 cards now, and we need more lands. We've only got 20 lands. So, let's see here. Bonders Enclave's no good. We can just put more of these. Maybe the Scry land. Let's just look at the lands here. Castle of Antress. I guess we could put in the Castle of Antress. What are we at? 25 lands? I want to do 26 at least. And what's the other castle? Castle Ardenvale. It's 26 lands. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, man, I should really mute my mic, but oh well. Okay, so here we go. We're 74 cards now. What are we going to just make it a Yorian deck at this point? No, let's just drop some of these down to two. We've clearly got too many of some of these things. Some of these things can maybe even completely go. Got to do four Brian Giants. That's required. It's just how... That's because that's the center of the deck right there. Let's get rid of the Staggering Insight. I don't think it's going to be that good. It's probably not ever going to be useful, really. So we're going to drop four more cards. We'll get rid of a one of each of these, I guess, and we'll get rid of a Shadow of the Sky, and we'll get rid of what else could be potentially entirely useless, a, a Ley Line. All right, there we go. Let's give this a try. So we are going to do traditional standard ranked, and let's go for the grind. Let's see if we can actually win some games, and see if Brian Giant is viable. Is it viable? Leave your comments below. Is Brian Giant a viable card ever? In my honest opinion, I'm just going to say right off that I think no, because it's just too expensive. To get it down to a decent cost, you have to have at least three uh, or four, I guess, four enchantments out, really, which is not necessarily going to be easy, but we'll see. We're trying to get to that point. We have a lot of omens. We have a lot of bursts. The bursts go away, so that kind of sucks, but other than that, it's all fine. Alright, we'll 
we'll drop a planes here. Go ahead and do the birth. You know, I'm thinking maybe I should actually save the birth for later. For when I when I want to know I want to reduce the casting cost next turn. So maybe I should play Omen of the Sea, but it is what it is. Looks like we're up against Simic. Load is 3172. Classy name with a Chandra icon. I am still a default icon. Long, long time ago I said I would change my icon of a video of mine got 10 likes and it got 10 likes. And then like people removed the likes so I changed it back. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I see what you did there. I see. Um, is there anything even really worth doing here? Not really. I guess we just play the planes. That's the only thing he knows we have in our hand. And I'm going to just pass the turn. See, this bird is going to go away next turn, so it's no good for a Bryant Giant. But we don't even have a Bryant Giant. I'm going to flash the omen and see at the end of turn. Too worried about it. Let's go ahead and just do the seas. Get the seas rolling. I go Thassa. See, this is target creature you control. So that never mind. I was thinking that you could do it with enchantments, but you know we can't. Is this thing a giant? Nope, it's a knight. That's fine. Okay. turn, sir. Dude, I am not stopping you at all. So it's weird when people are like really pokey at playing their deck. It's like, have you ever played your deck before? Do you know you can just press OK for things to resolve? OK. Take your sweet time. Your ghost. The whole world is waiting on you. happen to us? Why? <laughs> Why are we always against opponents that barely know how to use the client or whatever? I don't know. It's it's mind-boggling to me. I mean, I can understand if it was every once in a while, but this is like every single game. Every single game. I think it's because I'm playing at a low tier when I'm a higher tier, because I don't play much or care much, and I'm always just testing decks rather than deck list. You know, I think people at high tier just deck list play the same deck over, get the high tier, and then they're up against fast players, but no, not me. I'm, I'm always carefully crafting weird decks with Brian Giant playing against Lobies, and it's just an F FML situation. But it is what it is. Maybe this is why people doubt my intelligence. It's because I'm just always constantly testing things and being willing to look stupid where no one else is. Yes, send it. What is your freaking deal, man? Uh, literally taken like a full minute to play a Nissa and attack with a land. Jeez. That should be like a five second operation. Am I wrong? Is it, Why does this take more than five seconds? Obviously I'm tapped out. Obviously I have no response. Just play your freaking cards, man. What the heck? Look, we're going to the next game. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to make it through this video at this rate. Like, I don't want to play against this guy. I, I straight up don't want to play against this guy. This is miserable. This is freaking miserable. Give me someone else. Alright, what do we got? Um, I gotta consider... Okay. 
So Thass is not very good because I don't have anything to flicker. So maybe I'm just going to go with one of her and I'll play with like another removal card or something. Uh, let's just search enchantment. We'll play a Dawn of Hope. Dawn of Hope's a good card. Press the home button. If, what did I, I, just, I just played against the wrong thing. Please, please not a pokey opponent. Please, anything but a pokey opponent. Sylvain, I feel like Sylvain's gonna be pokey. I don't know though, let's not judge a book by its cover. Okay, this is a great hand. Note how I can just click okay when it ever appears, waiting on my opponent, waiting on my opponent. Here we go. Here we go. So guys, uh, I don't know. I guess if this happens, we can have like a side topic for every video that we can talk about in all the downtime of all these garbage players. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I mean, there's not going to be much else to do, let's be honest here. This happens every match, and I honestly just don't want to go through every video and edit every slow point out, because there's a million of them. It's Okay, we're playing against that deck out. Yeah, sure, spawn so this thing stops prompting me every two seconds. I sh probably shouldn't have got a planes, but whatever. Should be fine. I don't think I have anything that costs two blue anyway that I can think of. And more planes, and more planes. Okay, I guess we're gonna get all the planes out of our deck pretty quick. Cool with me, there's only three left. Is he sitting on a counter? I don't know. Let's get the rest of the planes out of the deck. Yeah, he's sitting on a counter. Alright, so I want to play Ominous Seas while he's tapped out or something, because obviously I don't want to counter that. Well, the good news is we shouldn't have very many lands left in the deck, because they're all in our hand and on the board. But knowing our luck, we will draw plenty more. Speaking of, speaking of drawing plenty more... What, you're you're seriously like trying to comprehend what Birth of Miletus does? Just press your freaking button, man. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna start having side topics. I really have no other choice. I, I can't just keep complaining about all these pokey people that barely know how magic functions somehow. Hmm. Do we pass the turn? Uh, whatever. Let's just play this. Let's just get it over with. Had to click that like four times for it to register. Now we're left with five, wait, six lands, seven, eight, no, ten lands. We've only gotten four actual, three actual spells. And, uh, this is pretty nutty. Uh, if I draw a land, I'm... Let's go to the next game. Please, come on. Just, just sign me up for the lottery, because I could win it all day with this kind of luck, except I'm having luck in the wrong direction here. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Let's get in the gate. What else? We'll take out more lands, I guess, because that's all we freaking draw. And, uh, play more counters and maybe a... Another ley line of anticipation. That would be pretty good against him. Sounds good. I honestly cannot, I just flat out cannot believe my luck in this game sometimes. It is nuts, and it happens consistently. So I'm pretty sure they, they... Okay. Wizards of the Coast, whoever makes this game, listen closely to these words. Mersin Twister. Random Seed. Mersin Twister. Okay? You got that? Implement it in your freaking game, please. It's really simple. I could link you a GitHub library that does it that's like 30 lines of code in C++, which I'm sure you, know, you got someone in your company that understands that. It's really basic. All right, let's just get rid of, uh, I guess we'll get rid of a play. Yeah, let's, uh, okay. 
think what I'm going to play first. I think I'm going to play... Oh, now here I am being... Okay. I'm going to Fable Passage for this. The whatchamacallit, so... Do I play the Idiom fast? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Dawn of Hope's not something I critically need to get out fast anyway, so uh, we'll just take our time with that. And here we are, drawing more lands. So either I draw no lands or all lands. It's like half of the deck is all lands and the other half is no lands. That's not randomization. I still don't know what this guy's deck is. I assume it's cycling because he has startling developments, but there's something else going on. It's just an attack. Play the Dawn of Hope. Cool. Alright. Can get our land drop the next turn. Oh, he's got all swamps. He's got no blue mana. Interesting. But if you play something big, we can Elspeth it at this point, so that's cool. Still haven't seen a Brine Giant in any of our games yet. What are the odds of that? The odds are really not even fathomable. This guy's having the bad game now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I get it. I understand that randomization is unfunctionable in this game. If that's a word. I don't know if that's a word. But yeah, this guy's basically totally screwed. I'll just keep drawing cards. It's fine. I have a Mystical Dispute, which I should save, honestly, but I also have Elspeth and Prison Realm, so I don't really need to save it that bad. He finally got the mana he needs. Let's see what he does. See what he does. I move my mic a little bit. This might make some weird sounds. A tutelage. A tutelage. I don't just count that. It's fine. I don't want him sifting. I don't want to end this game. <laughs> okay. And I drew all three of my Elspeths. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? For real. Let's take out one. We'll put in one of these. However you say it. Adion things. I think that'll be fine. <laughs> really dropped four lands. Oh, jeez. Maybe we do have too many lands in the deck. I mean, with the four searches, the birth of Miletus, uh, maybe we do have too many lands. You know, that's possible. I'm willing to admit that. This is not the greatest, but we'll keep it. At least we got some drops. We finally got a Brian Bron uh, Brian Giant. So let's see if we can get him out on turn three or four. Okay, you're gonna mill us. Did you get any lands? Nope, that's a fine mill, actually. I don't want any of those cards right now. Thank you very much. Mill. Play this first, just get it right out there. I still do not understand what my opponent's deck is. He's got a mix of cycling and mill. Cycling it? Okay, so I guess he gets out Tefri's tutelage, and then he cycles and tries to mill me in the ground. I think that's what his deck does, but really, I'm only guessing here. Uh, I think we can play the birth here. We kind of just need the land. Let's get those frantic inventories into the yard. Okay, so if he plays a tutelage next turn and then has a bunch of frantic inventories, I can see, I can see what his deck does. Or his whatever gender agnostic. When I say his, I really mean both. It's just a force of habit, I guess. I'm trying to offend everyone on Twitter and their mom. Hmm. He's holding the counter. He's definitely holding the counter. Okay, let's play this. Let's see if he counters it. Kind of just want to get rid of his counters. Very good, as long as you're not counting, countering my Thassa or Brian Giant. That works for me. He's only got four cards left in hand at this point. Let's see if he passes the turn or what. I 
guess it's an or what at this point. There's the tutelage. He thought long and hard about that tutelage. I use the side topic for the video. You should subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. I know that's like really far off from where I am right now, but it's at that point that I basically actually become a real channel. Until then, I don't even know. I'm, I'm some, somewhat trolling, somewhat not taking things too seriously because I could be, uh, who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? I could be somehow banned or something before that ever happens, which would mean all my time spent here would be a complete waste and uh, yada yada. Not that I think that or anything, but the point is, that's like when a channel gets monetized. So help me get there. It doesn't cost you anything, I don't think. Does it? Does it hit the subscribe button hurt you in any way? I didn't think so. So please do. That would be awesome. Uh, we'll play that at the end of turn. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll just pass the turn here. Let him mill us a little bit. Let's actually control the mill a little bit. I guess. I don't know. Obviously we want to keep the cards. We want to minimize number of things. Well, we'll see. We shall see. Why is he thinking so hard about this? This is not a tough decision. You just press OK. You just click your little orange button down there. That's literally all you do, Sylvain. Why are people so, like... I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Yeah, I guess I'll take the land. Hopefully that's the last one I get. Uh, let's see, he's definitely sitting on a counter, so let's have him counter a Thassa. That sounds ideal. I have no use for Thassa, honestly. She does nothing for me, really. So this would be an ideal thing to get countered. Excellent, very well played, thank you very much. I know it's scary because it's Thassa, but she literally does nothing for me. just hurry it along. Let's, maybe we'll just do a count. Let's do a count. Okay, I'm full passing. Let's just see how long this guy takes. One, two, three, four. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Could it be? Did that just happen? Did this guy not take 50 years on his turn? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. See if he's out of counters yet. Are you out of counters yet? That is the question. We've got three cards left. Okay, and, uh, didn't see that one coming for some reason, but okay. That's a good one to have with Tefri's Tutelage. Very good, that makes Drown and Lock a lot better. Drown and Lock, Tefri's Tutelage is a decent combo, and now he's going to end the story, which is not bad. I'm not sure why he uh, played it as a sorcery when it's an instant, but okay. You do you. I'll get milled out here. Alrighty. Sounds good. This guy's had a lot of counters. He's basically countered everything we've done, which has been predictable, but also somewhat annoying. I don't know, Brian Giant? Got anything about Brian Giant? Essence Scatter? Mystical Dispute? Take your pick. There we go, very good. That's all that coming. That's terrible for us. So what am I supposed to do against decks that counter a bunch? I mean, I should be able to rush him down. How many cards do I have left in my uh, 22? Okay. He's observing my omen of the sea like he's concerned. More of those. Okay. I guess I just need ways to kill Tepri's tutelage, which I have a lot of in the deck, actually. But the problem is, it's going to get countered, so... Like, what am I supposed to do about that? And also, sir, this is an instant. Play it as an instant. Stop being a derp. You're winning the game anyway, but obviously, you're playing badly. I'm supposed to be the one playing badly. I have the name for playing badly. You've got Sylvain, which is like uh, some kind of pro cool name. And why are you taking so much time now? I'll just take your turn. Thank you. Okay, counter this. 
Actually, don't counter that. This is not a threat to you at all. You should not counter that, but he probably will anyway. Or I don't, I don't care. Just do something. All right, very good. How about a granted? Counter that. All right, well, let's just get out of here. So this deck is terrible. This deck is so, so terrible. How do I make this deck good? How do I make this deck good? I don't understand how to make Brian Giant good. Okay, well, let's be... Let's just play, like, another match real quick, and just... Like, obviously that was some bad luck, too. We had the worst game one ever. We got, like, what, 12 lands and three spells, which doesn't make any sense. Um, and, I don't know, game two, he got screwed. So that was, like, an auto win. We didn't actually win. So, yeah, the first two games of the last match were just, like, awkward auto wins on both sides, and the last match was actually a real match. Now we're up against someone who's not even there. Okay, he's there. Good. Okay, we got one land there. That's pretty terrible. And how do you get one land in your opening hand with 26 lands in the deck? I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. And also, all the biggest casting cost stuff, too, just to go along with that one land. Well played. And it's a little better. We'll get rid of something we'll never play, like Brian Giant, because do we ever play it? Nope, didn't think so. All right. May I, uh, you wanna, hey, Grimly, you wanna, you wanna play some magic? Yeah, okay, cool, sounds good. Up against Gruul, Gruul's notorious for being fast. Not detecting much fast from this guy, though. Detecting a little bit of slow. Okay, can you move along? Can you play a land and play your card? No, okay. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of this. Search out some lands. Shuffle 15 lands to the top. And wait for Grimly. Alright, there you go. Very good, we got a wall. We can play this, we don't really have anything else, so we'll just pass the turn here. That's what you do when you don't have anything else to do, is you just pass the turn. Okay, yep, my turn, very good. Uh, do I search for a land, or do I just play an island? And when I play the slay line of anticipation. Maybe I'll have somebody kill it, I guess I'd be alright. Also, it's now waiting on him. Maybe we'll give him a your go, because we have nothing to do, and it's just waiting on him yet again. I don't know, he's, he's not being that pokey. I've seen pokier players, but still, just, you know. It's Illarg, very nice. I haven't seen Illarg in a while. That's actually quite scary. Probably gonna have to prison realm that. But then I don't have enough mana to do other cool stuff. Yeah. I gotta do it now. Well, I don't have to do it now. I could do it as an instant, but I don't want him to get to his attack phase. Um, yeah, do that if you want. I need a way to, like, balance my prison realm, so maybe I should have Yorian in this deck. Yorian would actually be quite good in this deck, because I could flicker all my enchantments and do stuff. Yeah, I think I'll go for 60 card Yorian. I think that makes sense in this deck. Sixty card. Did I say sixty card? Eighty card. I think oh, maybe Yorian would be best because there's just so many enchantments that are really good to flicker. Yep, can't do anything about that. My deck is just too slow. It's pretty hilarious that I can't do anything about his five and yeah. I'm just having a uh, really pokey start with this ley line and everything. Let's just do this. Yeah, I guess we pass here. This this is a bit concerning. He's gonna get a bunch of dinosaurs. Yeah, I'm definitely dead. This is a really unfortunate situation. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, sure, I'll block it so he only gets one two two. But like, honestly, I'm uh, like so screwed here. And he's gonna ember cleave it because I have to dispute that. No, 
thank you. I'm already dead enough. Get your little 2 2 dino. So, even if I get a Brian Giant now, it'd be a little cheap. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. If I, even if I get a Brian Giant now, it's still terror bad. Because it wouldn't even fight, it wouldn't even do anything against his creatures. Hmm, what do we do? I think we have to L spend the horse with the Crasher because this is too much of a threat. Honestly, at this point, I just need like board reset after board reset after board reset. If I could just draw like all my board resets in a row, I might have a chance. Um, that's a really unfortunate situation to be in, and probably like a sign that your deck is terrible. You have to rely on having just board reset after board reset. Elspeth can get back. No, I don't. I have no. I'm literally just using this as a removal. It's like, maybe I need planeswalkers. Let's go to my turn. Pay two life. Sure thing. Pass the turn. Overwhelm me. Yep, sure is. It's our, it, was, it was out of hand at turn five. It was definitely out of hand already. Ready? Send your things. Let's do this. And these. Sharky poo. This guy, because it's like all we got. Take a bunch of damage. And hope we don't draw a land. There, yep, there's our luck. Congrats. Congrats, terrible luck. I should have done full control in Omen of the Sea during our upkeep, because, you know, if you. <sighs> I don't know why this is true like 90% of the time for me, but it's like if I can draw a land, and I definitely need something other than a land. I will draw a land. Because send me to Vegas, I'll either lose all your money or I'll win millions. It's like there's no neutrality here. There's no law of odds. It's either an all or nothing all the time with my luck. Alright, yeah, we definitely need that. Definitely need. Actually, we don't really need that, I don't think. Uh, Mystic Subduel would be decent. Uh, what else we got? Another Hellspeth, sure. Another Leyline, sure. Uh, Mystic Subduel, sure. I, I don't ever draw El I don't know why he's in the deck. Yeah, you're leaving the deck, because I never draw you anyway, and you wouldn't be good against this guy. Uh, what else would be uh, not so good? I don't know. Let's see here. Thassa basically does nothing. We might as well take her out. Uh, let's take out three Brian Giants, because, like, what do they do anyway? I guess it would be okay to draw them against this guy sometimes, but it seems to be running a lot of 6-6s, six which uh, notably just absolutely destroy a Brian Giant. Okay, this is a decent hand. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if Birth of Miletus is a good card or not. It don't, I don't think it's good. I'm going to get this thing out ASAP because I want to get it stacking up as soon as possible here. Get our land drop here. Let's go ahead and search for another land drop. Okay, there's plenty of them. Let's, uh... Yeah, yeah, do I draw two of them? Yeah, I think I'll keep both of them. It's kind of a tough decision, actually. But yeah, now we're good. Very nice. One questing beast. Let's go ahead and subdue this sucker.
good Elspeth here, but that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and just get this ley line going. I feel like it could be critical here. We have some big cards that we'd like to play in a timely manner. Very nice. Is this spell or ability? Nope, just uh, spells. Just spells. Okay. Pay some life on this. And let's think about this for a second. Let's just pass the turn here. That's fine. We can Elspeth it. I'd like to get a big old Shark Typhoon going first. But I might Elspeth it if he plays a creature and tries to kill my wall. Yeah, I think I gotta do that. As much as I want to get the 5-5 five, five flying from the Elspeth later. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I'm not gonna Elspeth in response to that. So, yeah, this will be good. This is my not too bad. I love me. Okay, yeah, there it is. Any target. He's doing it to me. That's better than my wall, I think. Well, it's debatable. Okay, yeah, go ahead and go to attackers. I repeat, you you can go to attackers. Gimli, are you there? Gimli, you can you can declare your attackers. Gimli. Oh jeez, not not again. Not again. Okay, side topic. You should subscribe. You should subscribe to this channel. It helps me a ton and costs you absolutely nothing. So if uh, you want to see a bunch of magic content and uh, future me keep doing stuff, please subscribe. Or maybe you're already subscribed, which is cool, awesome, thank you. You could give it a like, that helps a little bit on the algorithm, helps people become aware of the channel. Don't be like Gimli, make decisions. Hmm, yeah, this is not bad, we'll go ahead and just, you know, I kind of want to Elspeth his Vivian because I'm worried about it. I don't want him to be able to activate yet. Let's go ahead and do that. Things I need to evolve too. No more activations for you. So I'm hoping he doesn't play a big creature and just fight my shark, but she might or kill my shark. I'm gonna read this again. Deals damage to that creature equal to that creature's power. Okay. So we play something with above five power. I am basically dead, which is uh, unfortunate. But uh, that does require him to actually play, so with the amount of time he's taken, it's very possible that his timer just runs out and I'll win by default. Let's not let him know that he is uh, the slowest player ever. Let's just, let's just be cool here. Let's be cool and do nothing. I'm not going to give him the old your go spam. Wow, you thought long and hard about that one. Why are you doing it to me? Do you know how to play this game at all? You could just get my ball. You didn't even attack. What is wrong with this guy? Oh my god. It's, it's really sad that I really have no chance of winning, but I can get a big old flyer, or I can get something out of my sideboard. Uh, yeah, let's just pass the turn. Uh, yeah. No attacks in the turn. I'm definitely dead, unfortunately, but, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll just play it out. It, it seems like my my best odds of winning have nothing to do with Brian Giant, so, you know, I think I have an idea. I think I know how to make this deck a little better. Yep, do your Ilarg, that's fine. Some of them to play, tap, attacking. You got auspicious Starix. Sounds like I'm dead. Hmm. Let's do this then. Let's see if I can get anything out of my sideboard that would stop this death. And I don't see anything, so, uh, yeah, let's just concede. And let's, let's reconsider our life choices. I think that's what we do at this point. Okay, I have, I have 
literally one more idea for the brine and it has to do with getting rid of everything in this deck because everything in this deck is garbage and we have way too many lands. Okay, let's let's try this. Let's look for enchantments. I, I just I just want to try something. You know, this is probably going to be bad. We're going to go down to now we'll go more than 18 lands. We go 21 lands. Yeah, that should be all right. Okay, so we're just going to go like the cheapest enchantment. I wish you could do like enchantment creatures, but it doesn't let you do that. <laughs> One, two, and three drops. And let's see what we have. So what if we just basically put in every creature, everything that can create a creature that's an enchantment. I guess he's okay. Probably don't want three of him though, maybe just one. Uh, we'll grab this guy out of the sideboard and put him in the main deck. Because if we can like swarm the board and with Brian Giants, this could be pretty crazy. And yeah, I guess this could be pretty good too if we are gaining life. But are we going to be gaining life? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. At least not very much. Let's do one Sentinel's Eyes. Uh, that's no good. This is okay. It was a little expensive. We could do a bunch of pacifisms, which might be okay. We're stopping his blockers and stuff. A couple of these guys. Some of these guys. Uh, this guy is a little expensive. We'll put one of him in. We'll put one Banishing Light. Or maybe just... I don't know, it's kind of an expensive thing. Maybe we'll just do pacifisms instead. And we'll do Heliod, sure. We're going pretty heavy on the white here. And uh, this guy's pretty garbage, but we'll put one of him in. And maybe we can do one Frogify. Are these exactly the same? One of them becomes a frog. And one of them has. One of them makes it lose its creature types. Okay, so okay, that's that's all. So this could uh, also do something interesting in third deck. Could put the prophecy in. Could do one starlit mantle. That's not very good. I don't know, we could do one Omen of the Sea. Maybe we'll just do one a one-off of some of these weird enchantments just to, uh, I don't know, they're not very good though, but we could do this guy. Oh, this makes Brian Giant two less to cast. Hmm. Not a very good creature though, but interesting nonetheless. Oh, this hippo is also, okay, so there we go. And with stuff with flash, let's see, flash, we can activate that all the time. A couple more omens, maybe one of those, maybe one of these. Alright, let's just try this. This is like a pretty aggro y fast deck. A little heavy on the three drops, maybe. Yeah, let's this guy's not very good. Let's take out a couple of him and add in. gold card uh, a couple staggering insights all right that should do now I don't predict that this is gonna do much good honestly but I just want to see how it feels with like a fast curve less lands and see if we can like curve out to a third or fourth turn grind giant maybe something like that is the way to go I feel like by the end of this, I'm just going to flat out conclude that Brian Giant is garbage, which is entirely... What is this hand? Come on. Oh my god. I guess I keep it. Sure, give her one of those. So I get one land in the first hand, and then five in the next. There's 21 lands in the deck. Lots of these sort of things are just... 
there and just unfathomably unlikely. I just think this isn't this really is not randomization. There's just no way that this is randomization. Trying to get lands out of the deck at this point. Which one do we play first? I guess we play this one, so we have more turn, more mana during our opponent's turn. Oh, as long as it's not your turn. Okay, I read that wrong. All right. Let's see, what do we do here? I think we just play this hippo. And we no attacks. Uh, I'll let some damage through. to counter it, not fine. Okay, so this is worse than I thought, but it does combo very well with the wave break Hip hippo, so that's sort of interesting. I don't know, let's just get the Brian Giant out. Our first play of the Brian Giant in a video about the Brian Giant. What are we, like an hour in? Oh my god. Seize. That's a really awkward play at this point. Sure, let's do this. Give him some sentinel eyes. See if see if old dude's got a counter. Let's play the other Brian Giant. Giants galore. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Ooh, double. Double ambushers. Interesting. Well, he's about to get a lot of car a lot of wolves off those, which is somewhat concerning. It's basically an auto loss for us. Which sucks. Let's do this, I guess. And we'll send it. See what he does here. Please don't have a counter, please don't have a counter, please don't have a counter. This doesn't matter much, he's just gonna get them right back. Does this give lifelink? What did I, get? I don't know what I gained. I gained life, but I don't know what I gained life from. Vigilance lifelink. What is giving this lifelink? Oh, Staggering Insight. I didn't realize this gave lifelink. I haven't really played the guard before. Alright, well, I, I honestly don't see how I can win, but let's just send things, I guess, and hope for the best. He's just going to keep getting more wolves and more wolves. So there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Let's just concede. There's really nothing I can do about that. So what do I need? I need like a whole bunch of pacifisms, basically, against this guy. Or no, that wouldn't even do any good. I need a whole bunch of things that handle that wolf. I can't handle two four four wolves getting created every turn by turn five. And I also can't handle this many lands in a 21 land deck. Hollowed 
fountain. We got plenty of mana. This guy with first strike is good. This is probably one of the best cards in our deck. Interesting. Nope. First strike hold. This hippo is pretty garbage. I don't know. I guess it's better than most of the enchantment creatures, though. Yeah, let's pay the life. play the envoy too. Because why not? There we go. Makes our starlit mantle cheaper. And there's the ambusher. Not surprised. I think I go mantle on this guy. Oh, there's a cheap, cheap brine giant. Nice. We are curving out masterfully. Look at look at this. Look at this deck go. Send in the boy. This is how it's supposed to work. This guy's actually not bad with flyers because we buff the flyers. It goes with the wolf. I think we can end this. Yeah, yeah, let's end it. Let's buff up this guy. Send in the giant, the envoy, and the obstruction dude. Let's see, you can only block a few. Let's send everything. I think this is the way to go. I'm pretty sure this is going to end the game unless he chump blocks the brine giant, which is ideal. And I can outseed and save something. Ooh, okay, didn't expect that. Sharky Typhoon. That sort of puts a damper on our plans. Massive damper on our plans. Okay, okay, and I'm gonna go with not okay on killing this guy. This guy's really good. Give him protection from what is he blocking? Green? Okay. Protection from green. Okay, let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can end it next turn somehow. Definitely putting the pressure on, which is something we've never done before with this deck. So that's sort of nice. He's gonna get his wolf. And I'm gonna get my card from the hippo. Okay, the gate away. Fine by me. I just want to draw a card. And it's another Ryan Giants. Decently cheap cost there. Buff him. And he quits. Okay. That, uh, I'm a little blown away that that even happened. Okay, I think we put the Elspeth in. Let's get rid of this Hidden Cove crap. This is not a good card. Put in one of these. And maybe put in one of another Starlit Mantle and maybe one Negate. I kind of feel like Shadow of the Sky might be a good idea. I, I guess I'll put in one Shadow of the Sky in for a birth. There we go. That should be all right. So that, for the first time, actually kind of worked as we intended. We curved out with a one drop five six Brian Giant. It, it can be done. It's unlikely, it's rare, but it can be done. I guess Staggering Insight's not very good unless we have unblockable split. I heard this happening. What just happened? 
<laughs> so confused by this guy's opening play. He actually kept the hand with two ley lines. That's pretty hilarious. Oh, this is sort of an unfortunate situation here. Do we frogify the turtle? No, I think we save it. Ah, uh, yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing to really buff El Seed with. All right, let's just pass the turn here. He's only got one land. All right, let's 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 do stuff. This isn't the best play, but I want to get enchantments out so I can actually. Get a little bit of life here. Might as well. This guy is surprisingly good. I think I need to play maybe one more of him. Oh my god, we won a match, guys. We won a match. We won a match. Subscribe for more match wins. All right, so Brian Giant, I gotta, I gotta end this video. It's been going on too long, but let's just let's have a little conversation about the Brian Brian Giant. Conversation about Brian Giant down in the comments below. He kind of helped, but honestly, it was more of uh, what's what's this dude? This dude, this dude is still a lot better than I thought he would be. And, uh, let's see, what else was kind of an all-star? I don't know, being able to draw a few cards with the wave break was nice. This Hidden Coves thing was, it's okay with the Hippo, but it's not very good. I don't think it's worth playing, honestly. Uh, didn't see a lot of these cards. Didn't see this guy at all. This guy could be okay. Didn't really get to see him much, but he's kind of in the iffy pile. This Envoy... I think might be half decent, just because it's flying and it makes our auras cheap. Being able to instant Starlit Mantle for one is not bad, saves our creature, and I'll see to save and make things unblockable. You know, things things happened. We'll go with things happened, and this, this guy, this Eon of Obstruction, with this dude being able to make him a 4-1 is pretty good. Frogify could be critical. I don't know. There was, a, there was a lot happening there. A lot to unpack, a lot to think about, a lot more playtesting to do. But I think going forward, I will definitely want to remove these Hidden Cove. Maybe I'd play one of them, but I don't even think it's honestly worth playing one. And maybe throw in a few counters or something. Or, I don't know, let's see. Are there any enchantment? Actually, there is one enchantment counter. Enchantment and counter. Like we could play, where is it? I don't see it. En enchantment and exile keywords. Let's see, I'm looking for yeah. Ashiok's Eraser is a counter and an enchantment. So let's try one of those in the deck, and just for a little bit of control aspect. And I'm gonna have to continue this deck in another video though, because this one we're done. We've gone on long enough. That's an expensive counter, so we're only going to play one. I think we'll just play more pacifisms. Pacifism, and we could take these out for sideboard stuff if they don't work well. But this will actually reduce our opponent's blocking power while giving us more enchantments. So it'll let our, our big prime giants be cheap to come out and uh, be able to get through and end the game the idea there. Alright, that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Matt from MTG Ownage, out. Over and out.